The fifth phase of West Bengal elections concluded in the districts of Kolkata South, South 24 Parganas and Hooghly. Polling was peaceful with an overall poll percentage of 78.25% till 5 p.m. Polling held for 53 seats in this phase. Fate of Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee and BJP candidate Chandra Kumar Bose was also sealed. Election campaign has picked up in Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry for the single phase polling on 16th May. Union Minister and Senior BJP Leader Arun Jaitley released vision document of NDA for the Kerala Assembly elections. Election Commission has transferred six district collectors to ensure free and fair elections in Tamil Nadu. KP Maghendran, Director General of Police and Training, is transferred and posted as Director General of Police in the state. Agriculture Minister Radha Mohan Singh has said government is closely monitoring the drought situation in the country. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, the union government in collaboration with state governments responded rapidly with a multi-pronged approach to mitigate the effects of the drought. <laughs> Defence Minister Manohar Parikkar said UPA must answer who received kickbacks in Augusta Westland VVIP chopper deal. Briefing media, the minister said the main question is who received the bribe. He said Italian High Court equivalent had clearly said political corruption was 15.8 million euros, which amounts to 125 crore rupees. Taking a serious note of the rising pollution level in the capital, the Supreme Court ruled that diesel cabs in Delhi to go off roads from tomorrow unless they convert to CNG. The top court turned down taxi operators' plea to extend the deadline. The first phase of the single national eligibility entrance test, NEET, for admissions to MBBS and BDS courses across the country will be held tomorrow. Supreme Court refused to accord an urgent hearing of a plea seeking modification of its order. A three-judge bench headed by Chief Justice T.S. Thakur said the matter had been heard by another bench and it is over for now. President Pranam Mukherjee invited New Zealand investors and entrepreneurs to participate in the Make in India initiative. President said that bilateral relations between India and New Zealand gained a new momentum since the visit of New Zealand Prime Minister John Key to India in June 2011. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit his Lok Sabha constituency Varanasi tomorrow where he will launch solar-powered boats for plying on River Ganga apart from distributing 1,000 e-rickshaws. Union Power Minister Piyush Goel congratulated Chief Minister and people of Madhya Pradesh for achieving 100% growth rate in renewable energy. He was talking to the media on the sidelines of the function in Bhopal. Auction of brands and trademarks of Kingfisher Airlines turned out to be a damn squib as lenders failed to attract a single bidder for sale of these pledged assets. The online auction began at 11.30 a.m. and lasted for an hour without any success. It was conducted by SBI Cap Trusty Company on behalf of lenders under the Surfacy Act. Raging forest fires in Uttarakhand have killed five people and blighted 1,890.79 hectares of forest land in Kumau and Garhwal regions. Governor KK Paul has sought deployment of three NDRF companies to douse the flame and conduct rescue operations. Foreigners and NRIs would now be able to book train tickets in India online by using international debit and credit cards through IRCTC website. Till now, only American Express international credit cards accepted at IRCTC portal. IRCTC has now permitted other international credit and debit cards issued outside the country for booking of e-tickets through its ticketing site. Indian shuttler Saina Nehwal's semi-final jinx continued today. She lost to her Chinese counterpart Yihan Wang, 21-16-21-14, in semi-final of the Asia Badminton Championships. Marathon runner Sudha Singh has qualified for the Rio Olympics. She won silver medal in the 3000m steeplechase event at the Federation Cup in Delhi.